How's it going guys? So in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make this animation right here. It's really cool. It's a fun 80s style animation. If you want to grab the project file for it, it is available in the description for a dollar. Everybody on Patreon, you'll be getting that for free. If you don't know about the Patreon, you get two exclusive tutorials a month. These two animations you're seeing right now I taught in April and you can grab that on the Patreon right now. You also get project files from tutorials and monthly procedural materials created by Syncretic 3D. Uh, last month he created these really amazing crystals and created the procedural materials for that. You can check that out along with everything else linked in my description. Now let's get into the tutorial. All right, and we are back. So this is the how we're making the file here. It's pretty cool and it's pretty simple. So we're gonna play with a little bit of transparency. That's really what makes this thing work. So what I'm gonna do is just gonna go ahead and get a new file and start from scratch. So we're gonna hit Shift A and get some text. So we're gonna head here, click on the little green A and right here on a paragraph alignment, we're gonna go from center and center. Now I'm gonna hit tab and just, you know, I'm gonna type in whatever I want. I'm gonna put TXT in all caps. I'm a big fan of all caps, that's why I did that. Now for font, you click on font, click this little file, and it should give you a dialog of all the fonts available on your computer. If it doesn't do that, you can just go online and download a free font and then um, navigate to it from there. So I'm gonna pick a really nice font that kind of works with that 80s look, something like this. So now we have this text going on here. We can go ahead and hit Shift D and duplicate it. We're gonna be playing with two pieces of text in this uh, file here. So for the first one right here on fill mode, I'm gonna go ahead and click none. And then I'm gonna uh, minimize font. And right here, I'll minimize, I'll minimize paragraph. And on geometry, we're gonna play with that depth. And so I'm gonna give myself 0 0.002, give myself a really nice thin font here, text. Um, and then we're gonna click on this here, this new text. Now we have it filling up the middle. And what I'm gonna do is go to none on the fill mode as well. But in this case, we're going to use extrude on the geometry and do that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and hit the tilde key. It's right above the tab key for me and click front. And what that's gonna do is let me kind of eyeball this to be right, right about here. That's really what's gonna work for me. So now we have our text. Let's go ahead and start shading it. So we'll click on the uh, this first text here, click new. And then right here on the emission, we're gonna make it white. I'm gonna pick a nice blue here. In the hex, I'm gonna go ahead and hit Control C and copy that hex code, because that's gonna copy the actual color code. Uh, that being important, because now we're gonna go ahead and shade this section here. So I'm gonna click on shading. I'm gonna hit the period key to kind of zoom in here. And then having this big piece of text selected, I'm going to select new. I'm gonna delete the principle, Shift A, get a e EM, emission. And then in the hex, uh, control V, paste it, and then we'll just plug that right into there. So now we have a very unreadable text, so we need to kind of fix this section here. So I'm gonna hit Shift A, um, search, mix shader, plug that there. We're gonna get transparent, transparent BSDF, plug that there, but still not gonna actually do anything just yet. We need to enable transparency. Click on the shader, click on settings here, and then on blend mode, do alpha blend. So now we have some transparency working through here. I'm gonna click on the other text and just make this nice and bright. I want this upper text to be brighter than this lower text. So I'm gonna click the lower text here. Now we're gonna start playing with the factor so we can kind of tell these two things how to sort of communicate because right now they're just right on top of each other. So I'm gonna hit shift A, get a color ramp so we can have some uh, control here. I'm gonna plug the color into the factor and then we're gonna get a gradient, G or A, gradient texture. And we'll plug the color into the factor. So if we play with the color ramp here, you can see how it's now working. I'm gonna go from linear to B spline, give us a much smoother and more uh, graceful gradient here. And then right here, if you have the no wrangler add-on enabled, we're gonna hit control T and use the object coordinate. The node wrangler comes with Blender by default. You just go to your add-ons and enable it. So we need to rotate this by negative 90 degrees on the Y axis, and then we'll go ahead and on the X axis kind of pull it up. So now we have this happening here. I'm gonna go ahead and in my world settings, bring it all the way down to black, 
and then kind of play with this right here on the color ramp. So now I'm just playing with the color ramp, trying to get these to communicate. So I'm pulling this color ramp all the way over here so we get a nice fade and then we can just bring up that strength. Then we play with that strength to kind of get them to communicate. So playing with this color ramp so it gives you a good fade because it's really, really bad looking until you kind of pull it up. Now we have this really, really cool 80s looking text. Now let's go ahead and start animating it. So I'm going to hit the tilde key and go to the very top and then I'm gonna hit shift A and go to the camera then I'll hit the zero and then I'm going to hit um, G middle click to kind of pull it out like that. Um, but first in the camera settings right here, we'll click on the camera, the little green camera. I'm going to bring my focal length really small. What that's going to do is you get this really nice fisheye effect, uh, which is w really what works and kind of makes that effect that really 80s looking kind of bowing text um, really look nice. So there you go. Now let's go ahead and animate it. So I'm gonna go back to frame one, and then here in this transform settings, I'm gonna play with the Z. So we're gonna go right all the way through so we can stop seeing it. Click on the keyframe. I'm gonna to go to maybe frame 130, and then pull it up, click that, and then I'm gonna lower my frames to right about there. Press play, and we're gonna get a really nice text animation that you can move, use for whatever you want. Have a lot of fun with it. You know, make it red, make it look Stranger Things. Um, but whatever you want to do, have fun with it. And that's how you make this text animation. Really quick, I'll show you how to, to export it. We'll go to this little printer icon here. Select where you want to save it. If you want to use a PNG sequence, your settings are already kind of set up for you by default. If you just want Blender to compile an MP4 video for you, you'll go to FFmpeg video on encoding, switch to MP4, and on medium, go to perceptually lossless, render, render animation, and you're done. And when you're finished, you're going to have a really cool animation that's useful for so many applications, a really cool look. So thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next video.